welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Today I have a super fun video for you. We are going to be talking about the essentials. What are the essential items that should be added to your grocery list? These are foods that are going to help you lose weight, stay on track, feel full and satisfied. And most of these foods, if not all of these foods, fall into the clean food category. So these are whole, good, nutritious, foods. So let's jump into the essentials that should be on every grocery list. I'm gonna run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. So before we jump into the essentials, I want to talk a little bit about transitioning over to clean eating. I've gotten a lot of questions about this. A lot of people say it's too expensive. I can't buy organic food. There's no way that I can completely clean out my refrigerator, my freezer, and my pantry and go to the grocery store and spend hundreds of dollars buying all of these new clean eating foods. So my suggestion is baby steps, my friends. Take it one step at a time. Sub out one of your processed foods for clean eating food. And every time that you do grocery shopping or make a trip to the store, just gradually start subbing out those processed foods for some more clean eating foods. And it's a very, very easy, organic, smooth transition. And speaking of organic, there are not all foods need to be purchased organic. Now for me, that's something that I've chosen to do on my journey, but that doesn't mean that you have to buy all of your fruits and vegetables organic. I had a video that I posted a few weeks ago about the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15. I will make sure that I link that video down below for you guys. Highly recommend that you watch that. The fruits and vegetables that fall on the Dirty Dozen, those are the ones that I would focus on transitioning little by little into to organic. Same with your meats and things such as rolled oats or some of those foods that are heavily sprayed with chemicals and pesticides. And now the foods that fall on the Clean 15, those fruits and vegetables, you can continue to buy just conventional and non-organic. So just take it little by little. I know it can be overwhelming and you can feel that it's really, really costly, but if you just take baby steps, it makes the transition a lot more affordable and a little bit easier and less overwhelming. into the essentials when it comes to grains and proteins. So here are some recommended essentials that you should swap out those processed items for that are a little bit more whole food and cleaning. Number one is going to be quinoa. Quinoa is actually considered a protein source as well, and it is something that you can easily sub out a rice or pasta and gradually switch over and enjoy quinoa. Also, swap out your white rice for brown rice. Millet is another great grain source, and also soba noodles. Soba noodles are also a source of protein similar to quinoa. So those are just some great grain alternatives that you can put on your grocery list and that are essential versus those white pastas and those white rices. Just gradually switch them into a more nutritional dense version of that grain. Tahini and tempa are other great options for a good grain and a good source of protein. Now, if you are vegetarian or vegan, you know that tofu falls in this category as another great protein source that would be an essential for a healthy eating diet. Now let's talk a little bit about beans. Definitely stock your pantry with beans. Black beans, cannellini beans, pintos, lentils, those are all great options. I will caution you if you are buying a canned version of these beans, just try to buy a BPA free can. That way you know that the can itself isn't adding additional chemicals into the really good whole food of that bean or really any canned food ingredient in general. Also chickpeas are amazing. Not only can you make them into delicious hummus, you can cook them in your oven and make roasted chickpeas. You can add these to salads. Chickpeas are really a great essential and a good clean eating staple to have in your pantry. There are so many great things that you can do with chickpeas and they're just a really nutrient dense version of a bean. Also nuts are a great thing to have in your pantry. Everything from raw almonds, raw cashews, walnuts, sunflower seeds, and even your traditional almond butter, nut butter, peanut butters. Just when you're buying any type of a peanut butter or nut butter, make sure that you really take a good look at the ingredient label and you really only want to see the nut itself and maybe some salt. You don't want to see any other type of oils or additives 
additives or added sugar to that nut butter. So you wanna to try to stay away if you can from things such as Jif or Skippy because not only do these have a ton of added sugar, they also use hydrogenated oils. So just really watch your ingredient label, but nut butters, you guys, this is a staple. This is an essential. I eat nut butter, I would say every single day. It keeps me satisfied and full and really it's not bad on your smart points. You can have a tablespoon of most traditional nut butters for about three smart points. Now, if you really want to be crazy, you can have two tablespoons for six to seven smart points. So you can definitely work it into your day and it helps keep you away from snacks because it keeps you full and satisfied. <music> what are some essential veggies and herbs that should be added to your grocery list? Number one, my friends, is kale and spinach. Highly recommended that these are purchased organic because they are top on the Dirty Dozen list. So kale and spinach are great, not only for salads, you can add these to smoothies, you can even make kale chips in your oven, and they are just full of fiber and really nutrient dense great option for some leafy green. Really any other type of lettuce is great. The only lettuce that doesn't have any nutritional value is iceberg. Doesn't mean that you still can't eat it. You're just not gaining the nutritional value that you are from other leafy greens such as romaine or spinach or kale. Some other essentials are onions and garlic. It's recommended that you go ahead and buy whole garlic rather than minced garlic. I didn't know this, so I have a big jar of minced garlic in my fridge from Costco. So I'm trying to use that up and then I'm gonna transition over to just traditional garlic. The thing with garlic for me is I hate peeling it, but I saw at Trader Joe's that you can buy in a little bag peeled garlic. It's already peeled for you, so all you have to do is chop it up and add it to your dish. So that is an essential that's going on my grocery list as soon as this big jug of minced garlic is gone. Another essential for your grocery list are tomatoes plum tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. Try to buy your tomatoes organic as well because they also fall on the dirty dozen. And then of course, any other vegetable that you love, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, fennel, carrots, mushrooms, you name it. Add tons and tons of veggies to your grocery list every single week. You know that I've been on this roasted vegetable kick I'm loving them. I feel like I'm eating just a ton of vegetables, but it doesn't feel like I'm eating a ton of vegetables because they taste really, really good. So just find vegetables that you enjoy and vegetables that you can prepare in a manner that you're going to eat them with preferably all of your meals throughout the day. Also herbs, fresh herbs especially are great to add to your grocery list. Cilantro, parsley, I love basil. You can also do mint, thyme, sage, just find the herbs that you tend to cook with most often in your recipes. And if you can find them or even grow them at home yourself, I think I might do that myself. Go ahead and add those to your grocery list as well. Next is condiments and flavorings. Now this is a tricky situation, my friends. Condiments and flavoring is where you're going to not only skyrocket smart points, but they're going to be full of artificial ingredients that you should try to avoid in your diet. But there are some great condiments and flavorings that should be essentials on your grocery list, starting with a good quality oil. My very favorite, as you know, is avocado oil. It's my baby. It's the love of my life. I love the chosen foods. You can buy the big bottle at Costco for less than $11. They also sell it at Trader Joe's and honestly, most grocery stores, the best price is just going to be at Costco or Sam's Club. Also any type of high quality extra virgin olive oil. Stay away from the cheap olive oils. Look at your ingredient label and make sure that you have an organically responsibly sourced extra virgin olive oil as the ingredient. Some other great oil alternatives are coconut oil and sesame oil. I love sesame oil in any type of Asian dish. It just adds that really, really good sesame toasty flavor to all of those dishes. Something that's common sense, but some great options for really good seasonings are salt and pepper. But when you're buying salt, stay away from iodized traditional white table salt and try to buy either a pink Himalayan salt or even better, a Celtic sea salt. This is salt in its absolute 
most natural form. So pink Himalayan salt, they say, is a salt that you add for flavor. So in the event that you're having maybe some green beans, you're gonna sprinkle a little bit of that pink Himalayan sea salt on top, where you should be cooking with, say, a Celtic sea salt. Pink Himalayan salt, they say, is not the best for cooking. I use it only because that's what I have on hand, but once that is gone, I'll probably have both the Celtic sea salt and pink Himalayan salt in my pantry. Some other great condiments are hot sauce. Again, just kind of take a look at the ingredient labels and tamari sauce, which is a replacement for soy sauce or coconut aminos, which is another great replacement for soy sauce. Just a little bit more in its natural form. I love the coconut aminos at Trader Joe's. Dijon mustard, apple cider vinegar, red wine vinegar, and miso are all additional great condiments that you should add as essentials to your grocery list. These are just things that are going to enhance the flavor of your food for little to no calories, and most of these contain really good clean ingredients. Apple cider vinegar, as you know, has so many health benefits, but I find that I use it a lot a lot in cooking. You can add just a capful of it to a crock pot, instant pot, or pan of chicken, and it's just going to really help make that chicken nice and tender. It's great in so many foods, and it's also just really great for your body to have a little bit of apple cider vinegar as part of your diet. And also for condiments, maple syrup. You guys, maple syrup is a great option. It's an all natural sweetener, and a little bit goes a long way. But when you're buying maple syrup, Try to steer clear of things such as Mrs. Butterworth or Log Cabin or those syrups that you find at your traditional grocery store and you really wanna buy an organic 100% maple syrup. I know, again, Trader Joe's has a great Vermont maple syrup. I bought it, it is delicious. Costco also sells an organic 100% maple syrup for a stellar price. So when you're choosing a sweetener, again, a little goes a long ways and I would absolutely have maple syrup as an essential in your pantry and on your grocery list. What about spices or flavorings? What are some great spices that again, a little goes a long way with spices. Again, highly recommend buying those organic and even better if you can grow them in an herb garden at home. That's even better because a lot of those dried spices, who knows how long they're sitting on the store shelf. So if you can kind of grow your own, that's the best way to go. But the second best way is buying those things organic. And some great spices to have on hand are things such as turmeric, cayenne pepper, roasted red pepper flakes, and cinnamon. Trader Joe's has great prices on spices. And also in the health food or natural section of your grocery store, you can generally find those really good organic spices for actually a reasonable price. And lastly, I wanna talk about sweetener. So stevia, whole leaf stevia, not stevia extract, is a great option. Also, you guys know I love the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. That's a great option for granulated, brown, and powdered. So just make sure that those essentials are also added to your list and in your pantry. fruit and since I did this clean eating transition I decided to limit myself to three fruits a day instead of four I've been loving smoothies so I do have a smoothie video that most likely you guys have already seen it's already been up on my channel but it was a great way to just really get in some extra fruit and kind of make them a little bit more fun before fruit I always have lemons and limes on hand I've been loving the Meyer lemons in my water so that has become an essential for me also your traditional fruits like your berries, your strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, grapes, oranges, pears, any type of fruit is such a great option. You want to watch your fruits that fall on the dirty dozen list, like we talked about in the video linked in the description box, such as strawberries and grapes that are just heavily sprayed with pesticides. You want to try to buy those organic if you can afford it and if at all possible. And again, with fruit, it's best to stick with fruit that's in season. It's going to be the most flavorful and the most nutrient dense. I want to give an extra special shout out to bananas. As I mentioned, my smoothies. I've been loving having a smoothie every day. Bananas are great for real sweetener in any type of smoothie or protein shake. What I do is I buy a bunch of bananas. I, I let them get really ripe and then I cut them in half and throw them in a bag and in my freezer. And that way I always have frozen bananas on hand for my smoothies or my protein shakes. And it just adds that natural sweetness. And the last fruit that I want to touch on is avocados. I love me some avocados. I like to buy the small ones or the teeny tiny avocados because then I don't feel 
bad eating the entire thing with a meal or in a day, and then they don't go bad as quickly either. So avocados are great. They are high in fat, yes, but it is a good fat, and it's very important while we're losing weight and on a health journey in general that we're eating good, healthy fats, such as avocados, avocado oil, olive oil. It's important to take the points for those every single day. Same with nut butters. It's worth having that instead of a bag of chips or a cookie or some crackers. It's gonna give you a lot more nutritional value, and it's going to really just help you with your weight loss process and healthy eating in general, lubricates your joints and avocados keep you nice and full. Next are essential snacks. Now, I don't wanna deep dive too much into snacks because I am going to be putting out my clean eating favorite snacks video here shortly, but I do wanna to touch on a few snacks that you should go ahead and add to your grocery list and make part of your essentials. Number one is hummus. Hummus is delicious. There are so many great hummus options out there. I love the organic Hope hummus. I found it to have the best ingredients of any hummus that I have found. It's delicious and you can have three tablespoons for two smart points instead of two tablespoons for two smart points. So you kind of get a little extra bonus. But hummus is great to dip vegetables in, crackers, breads, to spread as a condiment on sandwiches. Hummus is a staple. Also for breads, try to buy an Ezekiel bread or a sprouted bread and same goes with your tortillas. An Ezekiel tortilla, the La Tortilla Factory makes a really good high quality good ingredient tortilla for a limited number of smart points, one or two, depending on the size of the tortilla. And as far as breads goes, Trader Joe's has a great sprouted bread and you can never go wrong with Ezekiel bread, which is found in the freezer section of most grocery stores. Raw chocolate or dark chocolate is another great snack to have on hand. Lilies, you can also buy cacao nibs. Those things are nice to add or have as a dessert for that little bit of chocolate and sweetness. As far as chips go, you wanna again look for a sprouted chip, a quinoa chip, a black bean chip. Trader Joe's has some great options, but my favorite place you guys to find any good snack is on the Thrive Market. I have a link down below. If you click the link and you sign up for a one, three, or 12 month membership with Thrive, you get $20 of free groceries. It's an amazing deal. It has thousands and thousands of organic, raw, clean eating, healthy foods for way less expensive than any grocery store. I have yet to find these foods at any other grocery store for this great of a price. The membership is extremely reasonable. I recommend the year membership. It's about $5 a month and you get free shipping whenever you place an order and you can order as often as you want. And literally everything I'm talking about today, you can find on the Thrive Market. So I order from there at least two to three times a month. So I definitely feel like it's a great bang for your buck. And again, the prices are amazing. They have a really good sprouted tortilla chip that is the Thrive Market brand. Highly recommend. Also, Siete makes a really good grain-free tortilla chip. They have flavored nacho, lime, really, really good ingredients. So just watch your ingredients, but it's great to have some sort of chip and salsa on hand. Crackers, pretzels, popcorn. When it comes to crackers, I really like the Simple Mills. That's a great brand as well as Mary's Gone Crackers. Those are some great options. Popcorn, it's best to pop your own, but Trader Joe's has a really good olive oil popcorn that has fantastic ingredients. And pretzels, again, just kind of watch your ingredients. The Thrive Market has a butternut squash pretzel that is amazing you guys it's so good it's better than a traditional pretzel you're getting in a dose of vegetables i mean so incredibly good and extremely affordable also you want to have some type of organic cheese on hand as well as you want to have some quick easy throw in the microwave options with good ingredients amy's organics makes some really good frozen options she has burritos and pizzas and frozen meals so in the event that you just can't make a meal it's best to have something that has really good ingredients on hand so that is an absolute essential for your freezer frozen fruit is another essential i always always have frozen fruit in my freezer i generally buy organic it's great for smoothies you can add it to greek yogurt frozen fruits just great to have on hand especially if you're wanting a fruit that isn't in season whenever frozen fruit is packed it is packed at the peak of its freshness. So you're getting the best strawberries in the dead of winter. So make sure that you always have some type of 
frozen fruit, preferably organic on hand. And one other honorable mention is the Enjoy Life brand. They make a fantastic ingredient chocolate chip and they're so good. They make cookies and crackers. So that is another item that you can find for a great affordable price on the Thrive Market. But Enjoy Life is another great brand to add to your grocery list. Kind of along the lines of snacks, I want to talk about seeds, like nuts and seeds. Some great things to have in your pantry. And you can use these in smoothie bowls, in smoothies to top your yogurt, your cereal, you name it. It's great to have quite a few different types of high quality nuts and seeds on hand. Pumpkin seeds are a great option. Costco has a really good deal on organic pumpkin seeds right now. Chia seeds are another thing I always, always have on hand. Hemp seeds, those are great to add to salad. I talked a little bit about cacao nibs. Those are just little chocolatey bits. They're real authentic chocolate. They're not like having a milk chocolate Hershey's bar, but they give you that crunch of chocolate and the sweetness. I love goji berries. You guys saw that I put those on my smoothie bowls. I put them in my quinoa breakfast bowls. They're great. They Best price for those, dried with no added sweetener. So their zero points technically is on the Thrive Market. I do buy their go goji berries. You guys have seen me show them in several vid videos. And lastly, you wanna have some type of a cacao powder or a matcha powder on hand. Those are great things to add for chocolatey or some added nutritional benefits to yogurt, smoothie bowls, smoothies, those types of things. about essential beverages. We know that water is absolutely a must on our weight loss journey or just a healthy eating or healthy lifestyle. Drink a lot of water, add your favorite fruits to that for a fruit infused water. You can also get the sparkling water. The best option is going to be Spindrift. That is the only sparkling water on the market that doesn't have natural flavors. And we talked about natural flavors in the what to avoid as far as ingredients go video. I will link that down below for you guys as well. But Spindrift is great. They sell it at your grocery store, Trader Joe's, and Costco sells it by bulk. But some other great beverages to have on hand are things like kombucha. Even better if you can get them with the chia seeds. I love kombucha. And to be honest, when I drink it, I don't count the points. Now, half of a bottle of kombucha is generally one point and a full bottle ranges from two to three. But I don't actually count mine. I don't have it very often. And I figure that the benefits that I'm getting, the probiotics, prebiotics, and the gut health benefits that I'm getting far outweigh the little bit of smart points. And generally, an entire bottle is 50 to 60 calories. So I don't count it. But if you choose to count your kombucha, then definitely do that. Coconut water is another great beverage to have on hand. You can use this as a base for smoothies. Just keep an eye out for natural flavors. Also your almond milks, your hemp milks, cashew milks, coconut milks. I found that the best milk alternative is the forager cashew milk. It has fantastic ingredients. It tastes really good. It's nice and thick. And again, it's always good to have that on hand because it's a lot less smart points than traditional milk. And again, it's great to add to baking, any type of smoothie, or you can add it to your cereal or just drink it by the glass if that's what you like to do. And lastly, as far as beverages go, it's nice to have some sort of an herbal tea on hand, whether it's hot or iced, summer and spring are on their way. I'm going to be making a lot of sun tea and I have some really great herbal teas. Again, try to pick up your tea organic just because the ingredients are a lot better than non-organic teas. And before I go, as far as essentials to be added to your grocery list, again, with meats, you want to pick lean meats. And if at all possible, you want those to be pasture raised and organic. And don't let organic fool you, you guys. Sometimes organic doesn't mean the best ingredients. You really want to look for grass fed and pasture raised and organic when it comes to both eggs and meats. And also you want to stay away from things such as diet soda and drinks with artificial sweeteners. Just go for a more natural beverage. And lastly, really watch your prepackaged meats. Trader Joe's has a really good organic turkey. It's a little bit pricey, but it's really, really good. You want to watch prepackaged meats for nitrites, nitrates, natural flavors, artificial flavors, carrageenan. So really watch the types of prepackaged meats that you're buying. Try to go, go with organic, grass-fed, pasture-raised, same as you would for any other type of meat that you're purchasing. So that's it, my friends. Those are my essentials that I have in my refrigerator 
fridge and pantry. And these are the essentials that must be added to your grocery list for a clean eating, healthy lifestyle. And again, don't be overwhelmed if you're trying to transition over to a little bit better eating. You don't have to go full bore into clean eating. You can just baby step, little by little transition into just choosing foods with a little bit better ingredients. I highly, highly recommend that you head over and check out the Thrive Market. Definitely sign up, you guys. I promise you'll get your money out of your membership. And the membership is so affordable. I wanna say that the year is about $59, and then you get $20 worth of free product. So it ends up being less than $40, and you get free shipping when you go on there and place your order, and the prices are so affordable, you're going to save so much money by purchasing off of the Thrive Market rather than going to your local grocery store. And also the Thrive Market gives back to the community in so many ways. They talk a lot about that on their website and it ships super fast. I usually have my order within a couple of days of placing it on their website. So check out the Thrive Market. Again, I hope you got some great information from this video and find and choose the things that work for you in your lifestyle. You don't have to eat clean just because I am or someone else is. And maybe you don't like coconut water or maybe you don't like hemp seeds on your salad and that's okay. Just pick and choose what works for you on your journey. Just try to make better choices, better ingredients, and better foods for your overall health. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you're new, I'd love it if you stick around and subscribe. I do a ton of videos with a lot of information. We have meal preps and grocery hauls, all WW friendly. I'm a WW channel through and through. I love Weight Watchers. I am on the blue plan and I follow a clean approach to weight loss if you haven't so make sure you hit that subscribe button and of course the bell so you're notified whenever a new a video is uploaded. I'd love it if you thumbs up this one if you enjoy getting just some types of informational videos every once in a while as well as comment down below and let me know what are some things that I shared with you that you're going to add to the essentials of your grocery list. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!